Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This is code for this round 973 due to and we're gonna solve the second problem that is battle for survival. So let's see what the problem states and uh, the problem is like uh, quite interesting. So Eralim is a person and he's the mafia boss and there are n different fighters and each fighter has a rating AI. So fighter I means representing the index. So suppose 1, 2, 3, 4 is here. This is A1, A2, A3 and A4. These are all the fighters. Each fighter have a value called or a rating called A1, AI. Eralim arranges a tournament of N-1 battles. If there are N fighters, he manages to arrange tournament for N-1 battles. In each of which, to, in each of which two, uh, not yet eliminated fighters I and J are chosen. So if you are choosing two fighters, it should always be the case that I should be less than J. So suppose we can take this guy and this guy. And as a result of the battle, fighter I is eliminated from the tournament. So if you choose both of these guys, I will automatically get eliminated from the tournament. And the rating of fighter J is reduced by the rating of fighter I. That is AJ is decreased by AI. So A4 minus A2. If 2 and 4 competes, A2 is automatically eliminated and the result or the score or the rating of the A4 will be A4 minus A2. Note that fighter J's rating can also become negative. If A2 value is larger, A4 can also become negative, right? That's what they are telling. The fighter's index do not change. So the index is very static. RLM wants to know what is the maximum rating the last remaining fighter can preserve if he chooses the battle optimally. So if uh, I just want to make it very optimal so that the score is very high at the end. Now, uh, let me just go through the, okay, let us try to understand one of the example that is mentioned here. That is one thing that we can do is two to eight. What is the optimal that way that we choose is, okay, if we can make a fight between this two and this two, we take the right side and subtract from the left. Two minus two is zero. So first guy is eliminated. The second guy's value is zero. Now second guy and third guy fights zero and eight. Eight minus zero is what? 8 so that's how you got 8 now let's try to understand for 1 2 4 3 so uh, for 1 2 4 3 right 1 2 4 and 3 we can do many possibilities right so let's say that these two guys fight what happens this guy gets eliminated this guy's value becomes 1 let's say that these two guys fight 4 and 1 fights 4 minus 1 is what 3 then these two guys fight how much will be the value it is 0 but in answer they told that uh, it is 2, right? How did we get 2? So if we know it, we are almost close to the solution. 1, 2, 4, 3 is here. What if you go for trial and error, you understand that with this 4, they have subtracted this 4 minus 2. They made a fight between 2 and 4. The value becomes 2. 4 minus 2 is 2. This guy gets eliminated. Now this guy and this guy fights. Four, uh, the index 3 and index 1 gets fight so 2 minus 1 is how much it is 1 now this guy and this guy fights that is this index and this index fights so the value of this index is 1 3 minus 1 is how much 2 and that's how you get the answer as 2 now if you observe one thing it is very very clear that the last guy will always have an added advantage to fight with the uh, any opponent that is on the left because they told that the fighters index do not change and always case that it is i is less than j when we choose the index so what is the best optimal way to maximize it is i have to choose this number i don't have any control right the one two three four indexes are there for the fourth index i don't have any control but the value i compute from here can be done now if i want to make the fourth index value maximum that is if it is like a4 i have to subtract with some of the result the value in this bracket should be as minimum as possible right as minimum as possible so what is one thing the last last fighter is static we can't do anything what else can we do we can just do that the number that i'm going to subtract the opponent from the left should be minimum so what is that the opponent from left should be minimum so this is my logic here this is i can't do anything they told that 
the value can go negative also if it's negative it's very much good right if i get like minus 100 it will be minus or minus will be plus it will be a very bigger value so always we are trying to maximize the solution now in order to maximize this i want to make sure that the fighter through which the a last minus something happens will be the minimum value possible now how do i make now this guy has nothing the last index is nothing i have to make the minimal number that is possible so how do i solve it that is my next problem uh, how do i solve it is uh, you can do many methods right like what happens and nothing and all here if we observe something we have to take the maximum product or maximum sum and try to reduce it with only a single number so the number becomes as negative as possible or as least as possible and since they also told that i is less than j the fighter will always be from the left right so the optimal way to choose is suppose one two three four five six seven indexes are there or let's say that in this case the value and the index is same seven is static here i'll take the six and try to subtract everything in 6. 6 minus 5, 6, mi uh, 6 minus 5 will be 1, 1 minus 4 will be minus 3, minus 3 minus 3 is minus 6, minus 6 minus 2 is minus 8 and minus 9. So like, basically I'll take this number and try to subtract everything on the left. Now once I get everything on the left, what I'll do is I'll take the last number that is 7. Now what I'll do is you have to subtract from any of the previous numbers 7 minus what is the value I got minus 9 okay minus 9 like whatever be the value that comes it will be somewhere around a very high value that is 7 plus 9 this will be the most maximum number value that is possible again how did we reach to the solution we understood that there is x less than y the last number have an added advantage in order to maximize the solution I want to make sure that the last number who is going to fight against the opponent of the left should be minimum possible. If that number needs to be minimum, I am taking the just left number and trying to minimize it by putting by making it fight through all the numbers from the left. 5 also fights with 6, 4 also 6, 3 also 6, 2, everyone fights with that guy. Now finally it will be a very minimum value. This value will be fought with 7. Now once it fights, the value will be as maximum as possible. And how did we uh, see it? Let's try to understand the solution as well. Now what did I do here? I say that 1, 2, 3, 4 something is there. I take sum of all the numbers. Okay. How did I do here? It's very important. Uh, suppose 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is here. Obviously I take the sum of all these numbers and I take the second last number. I inputted the second last number and try to reduce it. That is 4 minus 1 plus 2 plus 3. Correct? Because I am trying to reduce it. I am trying to attack 4 with every fighter. So that the number is as reduced as possible. Now, again I take the C in for last 5. 5 minus, same thing. La second last means what? Second last is already subtracted with the sum. So 5 minus of 4 minus 1 plus 2 plus 3 will be the answer. That's all. So it's very simple, right? In some solutions, you can also see that you take the sum of all the numbers minus two times uh, you just uh, reduce this value. So in that case also, you will get this number. You have to go through this only. You can also have a doubt that why can't I just uh, keep the sum of 1, 2, 3 and 5 only. Anyway, 4 will go. You can't tell that because in this case, 4 is uh, less, right? Suppose what will you do if it is 100, 200, 300? and something like 4 and 500. In this case, if you just sum it, right, it will be 500 plus 300 plus 200 plus 100 won't work. So what you have to do is you have to go by this method only. You have to go like 4 minus 100 plus 200 plus 300, then 500 minus of 4 minus all these numbers. So that is the method. And I hope you are able to get some intuition behind it and uh, so the solution is like very simple so i have also shared the solution here so you can go through this and also if you want one more solution uh, you can just feel free to write in the comments as well and let me know how did you guys write and please share your comments that will only make me to motivate me to make more videos so thank you guys see you in the next video bye